is a never ending battle along the Jersey Shore. Squabbles over the public's right to access beaches versus waterfront property owners desire to keep things more exclusive. News 12's Brian Donahue tells us there's a few new chapters this year, including one involving a big city Jersey mayor and a New England beach town. Congratulations, you just got married? Congratulations. Congratulations. Why am I suited up for surfing outside City Hall in Jersey City? Well, I'm here to help Mayor Stephen Fulop. See, Fulop, who built a vacation home right next to maybe the best surfing spot on the East Coast in Narragansett, Rhode Island, over the winter told the town council there he's, quote, under attack from surfers who walk on his lawn to get to the surf and strip down in the street. Fulop was speaking out against an ordinance that opens residential streets in Narragansett to public parking so more people can access the beach. Maybe spending so much time in Jersey City, he's just not used to surfers hanging around doing their thing. I figured hanging out here under his window might help him acclimate. We don't fight, we just want to shred the gnar. One problem here is I don't think Fulop surfs. If he did, he'd probably be a lot less uptight about this kind of stuff. My wife can attest that I'm miserable when I haven't surfed in a while. I can't imagine going my whole life in that state, let alone also being mayor of Jersey City. Man, the poor guy. Fulop actually has a lot in common with some homeowners closer to home in Jersey, here in the borough of Deal. For the fourth time in the last decade, the town has just introduced an ordinance doing the opposite of what Narragansett did. They want to ban non-resident parking on a half dozen beachfront streets during the summer. Residents say they can't find enough parking during the summer, even though a parking study found they have an average of 10 spaces per house in their own driveways. Yeah, another year, another couple of exciting chapters in the long New Jersey tradition of beachfront property owners trying to keep the riffraff out. A friend and former colleague of mine tweeted this week that I was, quote, genetically created in the lab to get to the bottom of this story. Not much to get to the bottom of, really. Seems to be just basic human nature for folks with access to whatever resource to forget what it's like to not have access to it and try to keep it to themselves. The thing with surfing, though, is local knowledge pays off to get around stuff like this. I go to Rhode Island to surf every year, and when I go this year, thanks to the mayor pointing it out, I now know of a great place to park. I'm Brian Donahue. That's Positively New Jersey. Good on you, Brian. <laughs> Well, that ordinance to create more public parking was approved in Narragansett. The borough of Deal proposal to restrict parking is still under consideration.